Further discussion? Representative Nolan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the bill. To the bill. As a business owner and investor whose business interests are centered almost exclusively in Oregon, this bill scares the hell out of me. Communities and states and nations that invest in educating the next generation, in expanding school opportunities, and improving the quality of their schools. These are the communities that prosper. These are the communities where economic opportunity expands. We are moving away from that with this bill. If we really want to do the best we can for our prosperity, we should be modernizing our classrooms and our science labs and our school libraries. We should be giving every student in Oregon the chance to actually work closely with and be understood by a competent teacher who is fairly compensated and who gets the esteem that she has earned. This bill takes us further away from that. I'm not persuaded that we have adequately scrutinized every other appropriation from the general fund, that we have really scoured through every tax expenditure and looked closely enough at every reserve account that we can say that this is the best we can do. Is yet another task force for something that may be useful really the best we can do, for example, for public health? Does it make our communities more healthy than physical education for all of our elementary students would do? Or than biology lab for all of our high schoolers would do? Is yet another crime or yet another six months on an already five or six year sentence really the best we can do to make our communities safe? Does that make our communities safer than assuring that every student in Oregon graduates from high school ready to become a thriving, responsible adult member of our communities going on to college or holding a job? I don't think so. Is yet another tax credit, perhaps to subsidize temporary jobs at a cost of $20,000 or $40,000, sometimes up to $100,000 per job? Is that the best we can do for Oregon workers or employers? Does it grow our economy better than giving our students the tools to compete nationally and internationally? And more importantly, giving them the sense that Oregon believes in them and is a place they want to stay and raise their families and grow the businesses that will light the economy of the future. I don't think so. I respect my colleagues who have worked on this bill and proposed it for your consideration. But it is not the best we can do. It is just all that too many are willing to do.